What's up everybody? So here are three basic bypass techniques that you can use for cross-site scripting. First up, we have our basic payload that we just used to pop an alert. That's without any modifications at all. But what if this is being blocked? Simply changing the casing on some of the, the text and the script tags might go a long way to help you bypass a filter. If that doesn't work, you can insert a script tag inside of the existing script tag, and when the web application firewall removes it, well, it leaves it behind a new one. Okay, so everything else is failing. Well, maybe it's blocking the actual script tag. So instead, we can use an image source tab, and on error, we can tell it to do whatever our payload is. In this case, it's just pop a simple alert. If you like this video, I've actually got a longer one that goes into more detail, so feel free to subscribe to the channel and check out some of my other content.